Greetings, my fellow family members of the Vault. Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld Biotech Doomsday Vault. Episode 17. Favored Child. Once these turrets have been reloaded a little bit more, rearmed, I mean, I'll uh, uninstall them. Can't rearm a... An uninstalled one, a miniified one. And these turrets have been really effective as well. Soaking up the damage and uh, keeping us safe. And the raiders don't stop here anymore because of the barricades. So all good techniques being put to good use. All right, let's turn the smelter on because there's lots to smelt. Do I have my nose? Ear, 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 ear. I don't think I even have the research for nose yet. Yeah, that would explain it. Uh, so in terms of the trade, there's three hours until one quiet pr prisoner uh, gets returned. And then I'll start to run the trade route, which is the unique trade, 11 days left. So knowing that I'll be doing that, uh, let's go ahead and get a transport pod out here. I only really need one person to go run deliveries. So I guess for now, I'll just do one pod rather than to really go ham. And don't want the pod there. I'm trying to think, because if I, well, no, because that doesn't really work. Maybe we'll put the pod over here, like one, two, three. I keep floundering. I'll just keep it there. It's fine. Deconstruct the siege base? Yeah, I'll deconstruct it eventually. It does require Shea or Shield to get all the way out there because I don't have masks yet. Um, and the steel mortars aren't really going anywhere. Good parking. Alright, Destroyer, because you went on a bit of a bender alcohol-wise, I'm going to punish you by having to move the, uh, the prisoner. You're also a pacifist, so it would be really funny if she resisted and, like, punched you in the face because you wouldn't do anything about it. You just let it happen. All right. I'm going to waste no time here. No time at all. Ha! <laughs> oh boy. Work frenzy. And a work drive? Yeah, we're gonna have some components. <laughs> we're gonna have a lot of components. Oh boy. Alright, Shay, you can put it there. It's fine. Cam, I think if anyone should be present, it should be Cam and Shield. Leave the put. Stop. Stop working, you little workaholic. Okay, you can't help it. Cam, use Resmex Serum on Mayhem. What a pop-up. What timing. Go away. Mayhem is alive. Alive and well in vault. Oh, what the hell? Technoir and Kadath. Why? Aren't you, like, third trimester pregnant? Oh, dear lord. Can't I just have a win for one second? Oh, my lord. You know what? How bad is your relation? Oh, God. She... Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, 
maybe Mayhem will get words of love as a Psycaster. Because that's about the only hope we got now. Uh, Mayhem has tattered apparel. Mayhem, you actually have, like, your own bed. I, uh, left it here for you. Um, Kadath, you're gonna be sleeping here, I guess? This will be your, your bedroom for now? So, Shay, rescue your, ch or Cam should probably rescue child. We're gonna have a little bit of a relationship, uh, counseling, I think, sometime soon to fix that problem there, but, uh, Hello, Mayhem. Wait, where are you going with Mayhem? Yeah, there we go. Good. Now, the big thing is uh, to check Mayhem's condition. Also, it's going to be a little weird because you're going to be in a res coma for a bit, uh, meaning that you won't be able to be taught. So I hope to teach you quickly. Oh, and you... Fine. You know what? Fine. Take one more go juice and get the hell out. So she's addicted to Gojuice and is in with withdrawals. So I need to administer Gojuice so she can, like, leave the map tile. And you're overdosing. You really, I swear, I should just lobotomize you. We're going to experiment on you, medicine-wise. You're also withdrawing on um, Smoke Leaf. I'm not growing Smoke Leaf for you. So good luck with your overdose. If you... If if she dies, she dies. Man, what a, what a, the worst pawn ever. I should just stick her and do crypto sleep. Ugh. It's looking uh looking cleaner out here. Definitely looking cleaner out here. Hmm. I'm just going to fill this in. Okay, I think I'm probably done uh, removing, well, no, maybe I'll take one more column out. But I want to have a nice buffer wall, so I'm going to be adding material here for my own protection to slow down sappers or whatever. Do the parents that lost uh, their child get a mood boost? Not really. They have the mild ch my or I'm looking at the wrong. Hold on, gotta fix everything. There we go. Um, my child mayhem is happy. Is the only mood boost that they really get. Can we capture? No, I don't, I don't need to capture her. She's she's leaving. Was observed corpse when they saw Mayhem? I don't know. It's not really a, a way for me to be able to determine that. Maybe? A big maybe? So the current priority is fulfill the trade request. And then I'm going to have you pulled about next priorities. Once, uh... So next priority... Here it is. Hey, buddy. Sorry the pole blocks Yoda a little bit. Yeah. So, questing. Improve the living conditions of the vault. Improving the defenses and security. Crafting weapons and armor. Exploring the mountains some more. Improving faction relations. Resolving specific resource scarcity. Improve the health of colonists or other.
Man, he is perfectly... There we go. Oh, it's... A little bit of free Yoda cam, because I know he's obscured a little. I need a research project, so the noses are in. I'll go back to Arcogenetics. And Cathanon, let's get some noses. Noses are going to be um, less difficult for me to manufacture than to put them through bioregion cycles, which take a very long time. I want to see what this shade of yellow looks like, comparatively, once I have the material for it. Rat self-tamed. I just happened to have randomly right-clicked the moment that happened. So as to perfectly hide the event. Uh, I could send Shay and Shield out here to... Um... Yeah, let's reinstall these mortars. They're mine now. And I think I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to caravan Shay and Shield so that they can clean up that camp uh, a little bit more efficiently. At some point, I'll bother to make more gas masks. But I've, I've managed so far without. Mayhem is indeed back. Oh, I can't. Hold on. Avoid pollution. Yeah, that's okay. Let me open up the pollution overlay because this zone is outdated anyway. It's actually really hard to interpolate. It uh, looks very confusing. There's just like too many overlays on at once. Alright, there you go, Destroyer. Okay, so there's just a barrel and a little bit of steel left. The cloth sandbags obviously could be broken down at some point, but uh, most of what needs to get moved got moved. Shay is second trimester pregnant. So I'm going to remove her from Caravan, and then Shield, you're going to make another run, because, you know, you're not second trimester pregnant. Oh, never mind. You're not going to be doing that. We have an infestation. Scratch that. We're in danger. I'm going to hide this. So it looks like improve the health of the colonists is going to be the priority. I'm just going to call it one early. All right. Let's get ready for this infestation. So it looks like three hives, maybe. Pop this door open. So the pregnant ones should be in back. So that'd be Technoir, Shay, 
And Cam? Oh, here they come. And then the genies should not be up front either. Feel bad? Well, no, you're a genie. God, you're so smart. And you're vomiting. Cam is trying to get there. I need someone else to help hold the wall. There we go. And then we need to get a little bit closer so we avoid friendly fire. Come on, Cam. We need you. Well, at least we'll have uh, some insect jelly soon. I think that was it. The really good weapons that we gave everyone obviously really helped in this fight. All right, so Sapo, you could go ahead and pop the hives and everyone else can leave. Because we're done. Nice. I think you're all patched up. Perfect. Okay. Uh, for the biofuel refinery, I'm going to turn it on and allow chem fuel from organics. And if I recall correctly, this is just an insect jelly, uh, insect meat uh, chem fuel. And it is, yeah. So we'll just get as much... Um, Chem fuel from the mega spiders and spellipedes as possible. Oops, I did not mean to do that. I forgot about Shield's uh, caravanning. And he kind of left. Luckily, he's protected, so it wasn't against the rules or anything like that. Mr. Shield. You are set to four construct. Well, that's gonna just have to be good enough. I'm gonna make shield uh, deconstruct these sandbags, breaking them down. I'm gonna spend the manpower to do that. Pull everything back. And there's one of the gastro analyzers, so I'll probably give that to shield because he's our cook. And it would be really helpful if our cook spent less time cooking. Oh god, his skill is so bad. And you're very hungry. Well, not my problem if I'm not looking at it, right? So another thing I probably ought to do is to have a shelf of shells out here. Maybe two of them. So that we can send... Shells back at seizures, thanking them for their uh, unbelievable generosity, is how I'm going to put it. Thank you for your contribution to our community. It's unlikely that uh, the shell shelf will get shelled. It's a risk, of course, but it's a risk I'm going to take. I might actually fill everything beyond this point in. And then have a door or something. Still have to figure that out. And yeah, I still have the barrel and maybe the corpse too. Just so that we can clean up the map tile. God, he's going to be... Well, I'm glad he's in a really good mood. Because I'm doing... Making him do terrible things. Technoir is in labor. 
Uh, let's see here. Loved one present. Well, that's not possible. I'm going to have um, Kadath be a spectator anyway. Seems right. I'm surprised it doesn't say... Um, what would the term be? Birth father present? Yeah, that would be the term. Is she going to even make it? You guys are making her walk? Yikes. I, uh... I'm not sure that that's a nice thing for you to do, but okay. Maybe replace those hospital beds in there? Well, I do have a hospital bed. I wonder if the hospital bed is better. Uh, birth quality offset 5.0. Birth quality... Oh, yeah. It is better. Uh... Let's do that again. The Somehow or another, it's defaulting to the wrong... Oh, because Kadath is trying to use it. Okay. Yeah, it makes not a lot of difference. Made like a 1 or 2% difference. Something like that. Wasn't staring at it, but very, very little. Guess I could just leave the corpse out there. I really don't care. This means, uh, I guess I should get the giveaway going. Giveaway for the new baby. We already have the bassinet nice and ready. Hi, baby. Kadath, you could do better than that. Put the baby somewhere safe. So it's a healthy childbirth. Um, yeah, so the bed, the bed gave a 3% boost. Let's name the baby Sigma. Sure, Sigma Connor. And then the nickname will be after one of you. Oh, uh, not there. Try again. No, ag again. Not there. There you go. Got it eventually. So she, three hours old. I'll name you Sigma for now. Well, congrats. And then Sigma, you're going to move here. So it, uh, everybody has a child. Uh, all the original six. And a new armchair. True. I might, uh... might steal this armchair. It's not so much a new armchair as a, uh, replaced armchair. Mm. Growing families. So we have two girls and a boy. Mayhem, Carlotta, and Sigma. Oops, you're starving. That's probably not... Oh, it's because you're the cook. <laughs> hey, Scab Mechanic! How are you doing? And thank you for the raid. Let me give you uh, both types of shoutouts. Because, uh... I like both. Potionomics. Oh, I saw that on Steam. I haven't played it. Uh, how, how do you like it? Do you enjoy it? Is it any good? And this series that you guys are tuning into is a Fallout shelter-inspired 
um, very kind and friendly vault series. And if you want more information, here's some um, ways to get information about that. Yeah, very, very few war crimes being committed here. Oh, I have uh, both noses now. Hmm. Let's do some nose surgery. So, Shay, we will give you the... Am I wrong? Can you not put it in a nose that's missing? Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, boy. We have a bunch of gastroanalyzers that I can't install. Well, we're going to have to put you through a biosculptor and then install it, huh? Wokey dokey. Let's go get... So these beds here, I'm going to install over here. Because they're not technically hospital beds. So this will just be a holding place for old beds. I, you feel like that used to work? I feel like that used to work too. So colonist health is currently one of the priorities that we got going on. Um, so I'm going to do some biosculpting for our injured. We're finally smelting the equipment that uh, those raiders dropped. So let me just make sure. You have a nose, and there's the gastroanalyzer underneath the denture, and you don't have a nose, and it's missing. Yep. Can confirm. It's fine. We'll, we'll get it back. Just extra steps. So mortar shells. Important copy. Well, actually, I can just link and paste. So then we have the mortars out here. I still have to deliver the, um, I still have to deliver the ears and I'll, I'll get to that in a minute. Probably with shield. And the baby is going out to here. Here she is. <laughs> uh, so if you want to pick a custom name, use the channel points. other than Sigma. So congrats. You keep self-taming and I'll keep butchering. Works for me. Sell these shells rather than store them closer to the mortars? Yeah, for those specific shells, um, I could. I don't think I'm going to, but I could. Personally, I don't think it really makes much of a difference one way or another. Did we... Oh, we still have not butchered these guys. Okay. I think that's because S.H.I.E.L.D. has been really busy. With the whole cooking up everything. So possibly I'll have Shay go through the Biosculpt first. Does Mayhem have any negatives from Resmec? Not yet. It takes 10 days for any potential health conditions to be made uh, aware. So there's still seven and a half days left of um, of monitoring, I guess is maybe the right word. Hey, Mayhem. There it is. There's your incendiary launcher. And Carlotta, I will give you an EMP launcher. Seems fair. Um, how is your le learning? It's not great. So we need to focus on Mayhem's learning so that Mayhem has good growth in the next growth tier.
All right. T minus eight days for the ears. That's plenty of time. I'm not too, too worried. What I do want to do is to make sure those bugs get butchered. So I'm watching you shield. I'm going to start micromanaging him so he does it. Because that's a lot of bug meat to not become chem fuel if we sleep on that. You assume I prefer bedrooms over barracks? Actually, I let my viewers decide. I don't, uh, I don't really have a preference one or another. I mean, bedrooms obviously keep people happier, but barracks are more space efficient. It really depends on the limitations of the community, I suppose. So, uh, Shay, I am going to have you go through a pod cycle, biotune to the pod, and then through a regen cycle. So, uh, yeah. Awesome. Shield, where'd you go? Yeah, you keep butchering bugs. Before I lose, for the decay. I still have 20 hours left. It was not that close. Okay. All that bugged me is good. Awesome. Cheers, Shell. Now, while Shay is in the pod, uh, Shield, you are our only cook. Oh, I guess this is a newer injury. Yeah, that was the hand shot. He got shot once in the hand and ended up with a quarter of his arm, his hand blown off. Man, that's, uh, that's rough. I feel unlucky about that. Um, so if he's our only cook, it's kind of a problem to send him on the trade caravan. So instead, what I think I'm going to do is have him take off the gas mask and give it up to someone else so that someone else can run the, the caravan. Uh, Destroyer, I'm going to make you do it. It's, it's a terrible idea, considering you're a forced pacifist. Um, no, it's really a terrible idea. Because the issue, uh, maybe Kadath. But Kadath is a brawler. Sapo? But you just got Mayhem back? Yeah, I think Sapo, you have to do it. I think because uh, Mayhem benefits from this caravan, um, Sapo is doing it for his daughter. Because it's a it's a silent neuroformer that is in all likelihood going to be installed in Mayhem. So should Mayhem get the Psylink? Yes. Yes, but wait first to see if Resmec has negatives. Or no. Have you voted on that? Well, I bring the ears. I'm also going to bring the insect jelly as a um, as a, a bargaining item with me. What else do I want? I'll bring the crummy weapons that I'm not going to use as well, just to sell them. I guess I have a heavy SMG that I need to uh, I need to do something with. I'm also going to bring the, the tainted clothing because um, I'm just going to throw it out once I'm there. Because nobody wants it. I'm not going to be able to sell it. So I might as well get rid of it. That yeah, looks good. And of course, uh, some meals. I'll bring 10 packages of rival meals. That should be enough for Sapo to get home. And maybe some meds. Go juice just in case. Wake up just in case. Um, meds just in case. And then... Some beer. We're good to go. I'm not going to bother with the silver. 
Um, the reason I'm not bothering with the silver is uh, I'm already worried about having too much that I want to buy trade for, meaning that I'll be like encumbered. So it's a way to limit the amount of potential encumbrance. I think I will start mining out this steel here just so that I can fill it in and be done with the mountain area. So I had mentioned wanting to... Where is that SMG? There it is. Shane, this will be yours. Everybody in a heavy SMG. Except for Mayhem, Carlotta, and Destroyer with no weapon. Timo, thank you for the reset, by the way. Okay. Wait to see for Resmec negatives. Got it. So, it's been three and a half days already. Hopefully we don't get any. The amount of uh, camp fuel I'm going to get out of this these insects, I mean, I don't want to encourage Randy Random to send me bugs, but I do appreciate all of the chem fuel that I can make inexpensively. I will say that much. I don't think that should curse me. Air Destroyer, if you stand here, then Cam can light up your life. Yeah, see? So much nicer, right? So how's the pollution doing? Let me do another update to the avoid pollution. I don't think we've really been cleaning because, you know, part of it is just like I need to make a mask. More masks. Gas mask costs chem fuel and steel. Uh, with all of these additional, uh, all the additional free chem fuel I'm getting, I feel more comfortable making gas masks again. I'm going to make them with cathanon, obviously. Another thing is... Shane, you are, ooh, your certainty is pretty high, but you are convertible. Whoa, 73 to 19. Not bad, not bad at all. And then Sappo, uh, wherever you are, I'm gonna set you to the proper meals so that you actually eat while on caravan. Close Tuesday, thank you for the sub. Are you open Wednesdays? You gotta explain that name to me. I don't. I don't get it. I like it, but I don't. I don't understand it. Hmm. I do actually prefer the other color of yellow, which is rip my Tinctoria. If I really wanted to... You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go crazy. Bring on the Tinct. A giant field of dye. It's not a kill box, but a different kind of die. So it's right, it's April, May 15th. It's like peak grow season for planting. So I am just going to go absolutely stark raving mad lunatic here and plant a massive field of Victoria so that I can color my vault, vault colors and not really have to worry about the cost. Nep, thank you for the resub. It's an old handle related to a fish and chip shop. Because I've heard of, like, restaurants closed Mondays, right? That's that's pretty typical. 
Or Tuesdays? Trying to catch all the closed Monday business. <laughs> That's what it is, right? One of the um, the problems with the transport pods here, and I don't suspect I'm going to be going on a lot of transport pod trips, is that it's so far from the stockpile zone that it takes forever and a half to load. Like, Sappo's been loading it for a day, as you can see. Uh, hey, Sappo, take some wake up, don't get a heart attack, and consume some meals. Okay, no heart attack, that's good. No addiction, that's good. Coloring the whole map. Because why not? Do we get new cl kids clothes made? Yeah, it's uh, it's due until we have X. So I don't really need to worry about that. Because it will always be done. As long as we have fabrics. And if we don't have fabrics, well that's an entirely different problem that we have. Oh yeah, technically this is a home zone. Dante, you probably shouldn't be where you are, but whatever. I'm not stopping you. So we're only carrying uh, ear and a few more toques and cl cloth covers, and then we'll we'll be set to go. Remember to change shields. Oh yeah, to avoid pollution. True, because Sapo is now the uh, the free to be polluted. Uh, so there's a toque missing. Who cares? So we are gonna go visit. You will fulfill trade order. And that gives me, as a little reminder, the Persona Core and the Neuroformer. And we already voted that Mayhem gets the Neuroformer, provided Mayhem does not get any uh, health problems as a result of the Resmix serum. Because you can end up with Resurrection Psychosis, which is a terminal illness. Gene packs, dead calm, major cell instability, and gaunt head. What is major cell instability? I don't even know that one. Um, cancer is 500. <laughs> oh boy, yeah, I'm not installing that. I don't want to live 60% and have lots and lots of cancer. So, yeah, cool. I'll hard pass. Uh, and this one is for kind instinct and blue skin, so like to become an Asari, sort of. Uh, side trainer pain blocks. What does she have? Here, before I do this trade, Mayhem, you can burden. So pain block wouldn't be like a terrible thing for me to buy, I guess. Because pain block is a level one, right? Yeah, side link level one. All right, so I'll buy the pain block. Copy. And then let's go and sell all of the junk. And then I also need to just drop off the other junk that I don't even... That no one wants to buy. A shock lance might not be a terrible purchase. Especially if I get attacked on the road. I can use a shock lance just to turn off the threat. Uh, maybe carry home a telescope. Because that would be a really good way to use the outdoor area. Oh, I don't have enough money. I could transport pod money, but I'm I'm not that concerned about what I don't have. So telescope, neuroformer, persona core, and the supplies to get home. Cool. Works for me. What is death rest? Uh death rest is how vampires sleep. They sleep normally, but then they also sleep using death rest, which happens uh, once every two months or so, depending on... It's complicated, but it's a vampire thing, is the 
easiest answer that I can offer you. So we are making gas masks. So shield, let's uh let's let's don one. And then I'm gonna have Thomas don one too. I'm gonna slowly get our guys in gas masks. It will uh lower my protection from cold, but um but that means that Thomas and Shield can go back to going wherever they want. Which is important when trying to clean up pollution and the like. Auto cannon turrets are done. I am gonna get uh Rocket Swarm. Hey Apollo, I'm glad you can make another sheet uh, another stream. Welcome. You know who really needs the mask is a constructor. I just realized. So actually, uh, Thomas, give this up to Cam. Because then Cam will be able to build the walls uh, that I want to fill this in. So the idea is to have some sort of airlocked door here where I'll have um, steel on the inside, propped open... Um, Yeah, actually, I'm going to change the design a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to change the design a little bit, but it's going to require me to remove pollution. With the giant Tinctoria field, you could stop planting it in the hydro plots. I could. I should. Maximum rice. I know we have a lot of rice, but I just want more rice. I'm just that Asian. I love rice. Must have more rice. Mayhem is back. Yep. We did a quest where we took on a... Uh, a bunch of raiders for Resmex here. So... We used the Resmex serum appropriately. Did the tox packs melt? Yes, so here they are. You can see the tox packs releasing pollutants and the stack in the bottom actually has already been cleaned up by the Pollux tree. And the Pollux tree periodically will remove pollution around it, um, thereby cleansing the territories. And in this case, it's really useful because one of the rules that I have for us is that we don't pollute anything. So using the Pollux trees is a really good way to move pollution in a way that it gets deleted. So we have all the gas masks made. How many did I queue up? Oh, I see them. Yeah. Three more. Um, Kadath, let's give you one. And Technoir one. Oh, uh, that was not Technoir. Technoir, take one. Who's another constructed that I have? Cam, Thomas. Oh, Thomas, you do construct. Not bad. So we're going to be able to, like, really move around here. And Cam is third trimester. Am I going to be using a crap ton of atomizers? Only if I go the mechanator route. But again, um, as part of the rules of, you know, not producing pollution, if I go the mechanator route, it's very difficult to have mechs that don't pollute, right? Because you it's just the freebie that you get. So we could go and take on all the mech bosses, which would be... Uh, fine, it wouldn't be technically against the rules, but the benefit to our community would be pretty lessened because um, because of the strict rules against, like, unnecessary polluting. If that makes sense. So the plan for this area is actually going to be a trap tunnel, I think. So once I'm done mining this up, uh, what it's going to be is this... Uh, 
It's gonna be a bunch of spike traps in a row. Like one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna want to remove the pollution under them. And then have the trap tunnel with like a door here and a door here. So that I can go through it, but enemies can't. That way, if I open it up as a path, I can trap some for free. And then I can put more turrets in here so that if they do get in, you know, we just shoot them. Sapo, your ETA, 0.4 days. Mayhem, health check, no problem so far. You were rezzed five days ago. So in 4.7 days, I'll know if Mayhem is in the clear. Hope it's true. Does the area of pollution absorption increase around the tree? No. This is as far as it expands. Um, so it is a 15 by 15 circle. And it gets no bigger. I do have a few of them, though. I have a pollux tree up here and a pollux tree up here. So there's three pollux trees that are deleting pollution. And they can absorb quite a lot of pollution. It's uh, actually a fairly effective tool. I might have a specific zone. Well, for now, I guess I'm fine with Dante wandering around. The only thing is, if Dante is trashing our hospital, that's a bit of a problem. Pollux trees just grow on their own, uh, kind of like Gowerland pods. There's just a chance for them to sprout. The chance for them to sprout goes up as a result of high pollution, however. So because we live in a extraordinarily uh, polluted zone, I have a greater chance to have them. So it's, it's, uh, I suppose with that said, the more polluted your map tile, the, the more likely you are to get Pollux trees. This will work. Here, just to make it look nicer, I'll do it like that. And then in this zone, I still want to remove the pollution. Uh-oh. Another, oh, another siege. Well, that's not that scary. Schedule, everybody underground. And then animals underground as well. The only problem is that Sappo is kind of stuck outside I'm going to have him rest here, because I don't want him entering the map tile here and immediately getting killed. Uh, these guys have really short range weapons, so... Mm, no, you know what? Make some sniper rifles, and let's, uh, let's take them on. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld Biotech Doomsday Vault, which originally streamed live on Twitch November 1st. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you'd like to join my gaming community, Rodamont.com also has a link to Discord, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching. A special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel. I'll catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell.